Yeah, well, I'm not ready yet. I'm busy. Well, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> hey, okay. everybody. It's, I'll just it's ignore Ace Attorney. Uh, December 26th. Mean mean to me. Detention Center. Visitor's Room. Your visitor's room. Maya. Why, Wait, why I'll, is she in jail? Why are you in jail? Oh, right. Oh, right. Cont contempt, contempt, contempt court. court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Hey, Nick. It's you. I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day okay. It's a relief. Hey. Hey. Uh, why'd, you do, why'd you do that anyway? I don't know. I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. Well, no, you're because you're like explicitly. I mean, I guess she was. You're a not a lawyer at all. <laughs> she was a spirit medium First too, te technically, but she did go to law school. <laughs> you're just not a lawyer. It's fine. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Okay. So, uh, what's up? Have you been questioned yet? Questioned about what? No, <laughs> I, not yet. What, what happened was pretty clear, I think. It happened in a court. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said, see, he said, seeing as this is your first offense, we'll let you go after questioning. Woo. Oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready. What? <laughs> you can pay for me, okay? Huh? How much? I don't know. I guess they'll send you a bill or something. Why do I picture giant bails money every time I hear the word bail? Why do you do that, Phoenix? That's a little weird. Any luck with Mia? None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Hmm. She sounds like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. I mean, okay. To be fair, no, you won't. Because as far as I know, you're not, like, conscious when she's possessing you. But, like... Uh. But, like, also, it's... Like, she is dead. <laughs> she, is, she is just dead, though. Gord Lake entrance. Oh man, we don't have an we don't have an assistant anymore. December twenty sixth, Gord Lake Park entrance. There are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around in the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. Nope. All right. Uh, Gord Lake entrance. Wait, this isn't that. This is a public beach. Uh, hold up. Ah. Oh, no, 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 I have to go here first. Never mind. There just wasn't a header for it, so it was weird. Haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off playing, paying through the nose on a date with the lovely Keyonce. Woods. December 26th, Gold Lake Woods. Oh. Hey, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal. The trial today, there. Yes, what about the trial? Well, I was going to say good show, but it wasn't really all that. <laughs> Though you did save Mr. Edgeworth, I, I guess. I just wasn't sure how to thank you, you know? Uh, thanks. Tomorrow's trial. Detective Gumshoe? Any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? It sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? Oh, right, he said something about that in the trial today. 
There were two witnesses! Oh, right, I forgot. I was wondering who that other witness was. Uh, who was it? S sorry pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information to you, right. the defense attorney. <laughs> right. Oh, right. I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Oh. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't like to talk about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does, and him becoming a prosecutor, and him being scared of earthquakes. It all started with that incident. The DL6 incident? Yep, that's the one. 15 years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes, He still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. I wanted to talk to you about Maya Faye. Huh? She's not on a bail yet? That's strange. I told them to let her go as soon as they had the report written up. Man, I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her getting dragged out by the bailiff be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, he was so moved I saw his lip trembling. <laughs> really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth? He was really grateful for what she did, you know. I'm going to head back to the station. I'll get the report on Maya as soon as I get her and get her out of there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh, wait. Um, I was wondering, how much is bail going to be? Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth has posted the whole amount. What? Edgeworth? Didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. Alright, pal. Well, don't forget to go pick her up, okay? Hmm. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. <laughs> <Huh>. Wow. <laughs> Classy. Day class A. Alright, uh, back to the entrance, it looks like. Oh, nope. It says move back to the detention center to pick up Maya first. That makes sense. It does. It does make sense, actually. Yeah, he is defending him. Yeah, but, I mean, I wouldn't make my defense... I, I wouldn't, like, pay my defense attorney's rent, I don't think. Other than through, you know, contracting their services. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, Nick. You finally came. They just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Free at last, eh? Those interrogators are really mean. They're like, <laughs> okay, what did you do this time? <laughs> like, I was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? Well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for the bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He paced, he posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? I have to make it up to him. I'm gonna post his bail. <laughs> We've got to win this case, Nick. Alright, uh, I believe talk will just give me what to do or any ideas, so... Those are supposed to be your, like, uh, if you're not reading a guide, those are your hints about what you should be doing next, basically. You can always go to whatever location, usually the office, and Maya will be there, and you can ask her, like, hey, what's up? <laughs> uh, okay, back to the entrance. December 26th, Gore Lake Park entrance. There aren't many cops around today, are there? They're probably back up at the precinct working up a case against Edgeworth. Hey, y'all! 
Hey, it's Lada. Y'all really did it today. What did we do now? No, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking. A little self-reflection, y'all might say. I realized that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility. But I just went up there and started blabbing. I shouldn't have lied to court. <laughs> shouldn't have lied to the court. I should have been held in contempt, but I wasn't. Gotta love them double standards. But I just went up there and started blabbing any old thing that came to my mind. Lotta. So you see, I want to make it up to y'all. Make it up? I'm curious about what that means. What did you think of the trial? To be honest, I was just doing it. I was doing it half just to say I've been a witness. Even though I didn't really see anything. I kind of convinced myself I had, though. I'm sorry, I know I caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory is a tricky, vague little thing. Is that a reference to something? That's a weirdly specific Probably. quote. <laughs> yeah, I sure know that now. I'll be fine next time I witness a murder. I, hmm. Right. You mean the first time you witness a murder? What about Gordy? Right! Well, the way I figured, Trial's only stoking the flames of Gordy fever. I'll get my exclusive photos and rocket to start him. That, all right, Lada. You go, girl. I wish I could be an investigative photographer, too. Finish your spirit medium training first. Lotta, what do you mean by making it, making it up to us? It's the same Swiss as in here to voice the southern character, right? Well, you see, actually, I got a bit of information for you. What? That Von Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. What, what information? Now we're getting to the heart of it. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. E exchange? Um, I thought this was to make it up to us. Right. I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. What? Information don't come cheap, my friend. Uh. Hey, I see you thinking, my, how unsophisticated these southern folks are. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most southerners are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just the exception, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, what'll it be? We're gonna deal or not? <laughs> well, deal or no deal. I assume deal. De I assume deal. <laughs> I assume deal or the fucking case won't advance. We don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? You're completely off your rocker. I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Huh? The only fair exchange for information is information. Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. G Gordy? <laughs> I assure you, most Southerners aren't as bad as I am. <laughs> but Gordy doesn't... I mean, Gordy might not exist. Then bring me proof it shows he don't. Uh, I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? You see some? Y'all come to me first, got it? Okay. Right, see y'all later. Okay, Nick. Let's get hunting. Hunting? You don't seriously mean... Gordy? I sure do. What about Edgeworth? <laughs> We're searching for Gord... We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick. Don't you get it? Okay. And how exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist? Oh, Larry. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Where'd this come from? December 26th, Gord Lake, Public Beach. Well, what's that? The, the Steel Samurai Nick. Oh, right, this is also me. Hello! Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> yo, Maya! Larry, what the heck is that? Oh, it was my girl Kianzi's idea. She was all, if you like, put this here. It would be, like, really cool. Dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. Wow. That's real impressive. She f could find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people. 
And the show's finished now, so she got him for free. Right. Edgeworth. Ah! Yo, Nick. W what happened with Edgy? Well, we made it through the first day in court, all right. I don't know how good our prospects are from here on, though. Huh. Hey, Larry. Did you know Mr. Edgeworth's secret weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes. All you have to do to kill him is make an earthquake happen. <laughs> and then he would be too scared. <laughs> he acts like a little boy. Huh? That's weird. I don't think he was ever like that in school. No? Really? Well, we were only in the same class for a little bit. He transferred schools pretty quickly. Transferred. Right, when the DL6 incident happened. Doesn't look like Larry knows about it, though. Hey, Larry. When did you get that big thing? Huh? Oh, the big guy? I've had that for about a month, yeah. <laughs> it's a big hit with the kids. Why wasn't it there yesterday? Huh? Huh? Oh, right. The, the compressor was busted. It's a balloon. Compressor? Yeah, it's like that little unit by my hot dog stand. That's... I wouldn't call that by the hot dog stand necessarily, but... <laughs> it's adjacent to it. It's what I use to put air in the Steel Samurai. It broke a little while ago, so I set it in for repairs. Oh. And here I thought you'd inflated it by yourself. No, that'd be ridiculous. No. No, <laughs> those have to stay inflated, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just imagine constantly blowing air into one of those things forever. That would be a hell of a Sisyphean curse. You have to keep the balloon inflated forever. Forever! December 26, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. Hey there, pal. What's up? You look out of sorts. Wait. You didn't go and do something that's gonna hurt Edra's case again. What do you mean, again? Whatever. Have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything. Besides the money, that is. That, hmm. Specific. I'm gonna go ahead I and check on... Like I'm gonna check this guy's image training again. That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. You're under arrest. I have a warrant. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to an attorney. You must be doing image training for making arrests. What's up, boss? This must be the chief of detectives here. He's glued to his computer screen. Whoa, Rook to Bishop 7? Checkmate? I don't believe it! He must be playing chess on the computer. <laughs> you know, big murder case going around, but he's just fucking around with chess, I guess. Whatever. Listen, listen, listen. How's the investigation proceeding? It's not, really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. His motive? See, Mr. Edgeworth's father died in the DL6 incident. That the guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in the case. Robert Hammond. They say that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. And Edgeworth never talks about his past. Oh, this is you. And Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag that out and hit him with it in court tomorrow, too. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I gotta admit, it doesn't look good, pal. Gordy. Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? The monster down in Gord Lake? Not personally, no. <laughs> <laughs> no I haven't met the guy. <laughs> Never seen them myself, but you know, I hear it's great. 
Well, we're looking for it. Why? Huh? Huh? Are you out of your minds? Eek. You got time to do wild monster hunting? How about doing a little questioning for me then? De Detective Gumshoe is scaring me, Nick. I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Lada. Nick, try telling him sooner next time. Yeah, sorry. He yelled at me. <laughs> I'm sad now. <laughs> this is my sad voice. <laughs> this is my sad voice. I see, pal. That's stupid. <laughs> it's dumb as Time hell. To shout now. Okay. I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid you in your search for Gordon. <laughs> Why? <laughs> huh? I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. It's just a magnifying glass. <laughs> really? You can take whichever one you'd like. Oh boy. Okay, give us the goods. Hold on now. Everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are best and brightest. Introducing our secret weapon number one. Missile. <laughs> what? M m missile He's a K-9 police dog. Still in training. Oh. Missile. Missile. Here, boy. We just keep him at the office. Woof. Oh, my God. What a little guy. <laughs> Here he is. Hey, he's cute. By the way, the person who worked on this fucking game put this dog in... Puts this dog in, like, every one of their games. That's incredible. This the same one, huh? This dog is a major character in Ghost Trick. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course he is. Look, Nick. Cute dog. A cute dog. And this will help us how... Woof! <laughs> Did you just yell woof? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Next weapon, secret two. Ne next secret weapon, number two. <laughs> a fishing pole. Here is my own personal fishing pole. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. Yeah. How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know till you try, pal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the next one is the last one. No, please. I'm already overwhelmed by our choices. <laughs> A metal detector. Here. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for something alive. Right. How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, you never know. It might have been eating soda cans. <laughs> well, which will it be? Um. So there are uh uh there are secret there are secret like fun things that happen if we take the dog in the fishing pool. So like I kind of want to do those first. Cuz I haven't yeah, I haven't actually it, seen those before. I can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. I can't make up my mind either for the totally opposite reason. Oh, well, I suppose it can't hurt to borrow one of them. We're borrowing your dog. <laughs> sure thing, pal. Be good to him. Woof. He is so cute. Oh, boy. K-9 unit missile borrowed from Detective Gumshoe. Very cute with shiny eyes. All right, let's go to Gord Lake. And then we go to the beach. Hey, Nick. Hmm? Missile's been acting strangely. Missile? Oh, oh, right. That little creature of the detectives. Dude, did you forget the word dog? <laughs> hey, I love little doggies. 
All right. Good boy. Good boy. Ah, oh my god. <laughs> what, what, what's wrong, missile? Those are yips. Eek. Missile. Missile. Whoa, whoa, stop that thing. Cannibal, it's eating my samurai dogs. <laughs> 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 My samurai dogs. <laughs> wow. He ate every single one. I'm sorry, Larry. Sorry? Sorry you don't pay my bills, Nick. <laughs> it's going to have to this time. <laughs> well, that's all the use we had for missiles, eating all of Larry's hot dogs. Let's go give them back to the detective. <laughs> Hey, we brought your dog back. Can I have your fishing pole now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, pal. But I have to take back. Hey, wow. That, okay. Sorry. That was all new dialogue. For sure, just skip it. He just said something about, like, I have to take back the one you lent the policy. Department policy, which is wild because I don't think I could just walk into a police department and be like, hey, can I borrow your dog? I'll give you this fishing rod for it. <laughs> can we borrow that flimsy looking fishing pole? Uh, should think, pal. Or if it breaks, be sure to dispose of it properly, okay? Uh, right. Fishing pole borrowed from Detective Gump Show. Sadly, flimly, <laughs> sadly flimsy and of dubious utility. Alright, let's move to the beach woods. Uh, public beach. Beach woods, okay. December 26, Gord Lake Woods. Mmm. Okay, Nick. This looks like a good spot. A good spot for what? Time to do some fishing. She's serious. Um, what are you going to use for bait? Oh. Yeah, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I figured something like this would I, happen. We should have brought missile along with us too. At least then we'd have bait. What the fuck, <laughs> dude? <laughs> Whoa, N Nick! How could you? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Some jokes are better left untold. Oh, she hit me. <laughs> okay, watch this, Nick. Just try not to reel in any empty cans or boots, okay? Here we go. Click, 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 click. She said, ack my leg, and then fell. Ack my leg. Hey, what are you doing? Sorry, Lada. Don't tell me y'all are on some film company's payroll. Nick, pay her. My poor, poor wallets. Oh, we don't know anything about Gordy yet. Uh, it says we can show the rod to them also. <laughs> wait, Lada, wait for catching Gordy. A fishing pole? Are you your dog on mind? Yes, I mean, yes, it's a fishing pole. Huh. I never thought of that. Good luck. Thanks. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> look, we brought a fishing bowl to caught this catch the sea monster. We can also show it to Larry. You know you can't catch many fish in this lake. I'm not after small fry. I'm after <laughs> the biggest fry of them all. Gordy. You're really gonna try to fish out a monster? Nope, oh, that's you, sorry. I don't know what happened. What? You even <laughs> did the voice! <laughs> Holy shit. I got confused for a second. I was like, am I speaking? What's <laughs> happening? I'm sorry. You really gonna try to fish out a monster? To save Edgeworth, yes. <laughs> Br 
brings a tear to my eye in more ways than one. What? What a weird thing to say. <laughs> Incredibly. <clears throat> anyway, let's go get that metal detector. Uh, Criminal Affairs Department. Hey, what's up? Detective Gumshoe, I need to borrow the thing. It's, yeah. It's like, can we borrow that metal detector? Uh, sure thing, pal. I'm not sure what we're going to find with this. <clears throat> Remember, you hunt in a monster. Anything is possible. Anything. Metal detector borrowed from Gumshoe. Det what? Borrowed from Detective Gumshoe. I think I just had a stroke. Okay, uh, go to Public Beach and then Boat Rental Shop, finally. God damn it. Edgeworth is questioning you. Wrong button. Listen, I didn't mean to come here. I'm sorry. Beach. Boat Rental Shop. Boat Rentals. I also love how you can tell. I also love how you can tell on the wall there. There's some clearly just like blurred out Kana. <laughs> yeah. Very yeah, good. Man, that could be anything. Feels like they could have just like not like made that sign blank if they were gonna gonna put in the effort. December twenty sixth, boat rental shop. It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good. Well, with the murder on the lake and all. They're probably just taking a vacation till it blows over. I get it. Beep, beep, beep. Oh my god, that's loud. Fuck. Okay. N Nick. It's beeping. The metal detector's found something. Sure is loud enough about it. Whatever it is, it must be in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. Why do I have to check it out? And then does it anyway. That's exactly what I would have done. <laughs> Nick. Look. Huh? An air tank? Huh. The valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. Maya, first of all... Why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? Oh. Huh? There's something wrapped around this air tank. It looks like a string of flags? Well, we might as well take it with us now that we've found it. It's heavy. Air tank of dubious value retrieves. <laughs> <laughs> I love how sarcastic this game is. Hey, uh, what's up with this air tank wrapped in flags that came from your shit? What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. Is it yours? <laughs> Say, is this air tank yours? Why would I have a thing like that? Look, see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? It's just like the string of flags around your steel samurai there. <laughs> it must be a coincidence. There are strings of flags everywhere these days. Like elementary schools. <laughs> uh, and used car dealerships. Look, why would I need a tank anyway? To inflate something, I assume. <laughs> you used this to inflate that, didn't you? Inflate what? What else? That big puffy steel samurai. <clears throat> now, why would you go asking me a question like that? Looks like I had the nail on the head. Right. Actually, um... See, the compressor I always used was on the frets. So I tried using a tank to inflate just once. That's not how any of that works. <laughs> and uh, it didn't go so well. As I suspected. Uh, 
didn't go well. It didn't go so well? Uh, yeah. Do you think you could be a little more specific? Uh, c come on. Look, it's embarrassing, so I really don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Tell us. Tell us. F fine. Whatever. It's like what I said. The compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill the samurai up with that. And then... It, it didn't work because these things need to be constantly inflated. Blam! Blam. Gordy ended up right in the fucking lake. <laughs> or, um... The samurai did. The valve busted open, made this incredible noise. And the tank there took off like a rocket. It took my port deflate steel samurai with it. What? Off into Gord Lake? Uh, it sure scared it. It sure scared me out of my gourd. That's for sure. <laughs> what? Uh, what the fuck, <laughs> Larry? How did you even manage this? <laughs> um. So the tank and steel samurai you're trying to fill up flew away. What happened next? Well, all that happened on the 20th or so. The 20th, a week ago. Now, as far as I could see, the tank went flying out into the lake. So I went out every night in a boat looking for it. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, Kianza gave me that steel samurai after all. And when did you find it? Just the night before last! It flew way out there. It took me four whole days to find it. The night before last was the night of the murder. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. Out on the lake, too, and everything. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, fucking... <laughs> but you see, I went home before midnight. So, you didn't know about what happened. No. That's too bad. It's not all bad. We've solved one mystery, at least. A mystery. Maybe we should go tell her. Have you solved the mystery, Josh? I know what, that Gordy is this balloon. Yeah, that's the If mystery. that's what you mean. That was pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah, as soon as it showed it, it's like, wait a minute. I mean, like, I don't think either of us expected to find a fucking sea monster here, so. No, not really. Well, Mr. Lore, I got the info y'all need. Y'all got the scoop on Gordy for me yet? He doesn't exist. A lot of, there is no such thing as Gordy. What? How can y'all be so sure? R really, Nick? Y'all got some proof Gordy don't exist? The proof that Gordy doesn't exist? Is out there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> You've just got to go find it. <laughs> is here. Of course I have proof. No lawyer worth his badge would make a claim without the proof to back it up. Here's the proof that Gordy doesn't exist. Uh, I... I guess the air tank? Hold on. Oh, you, so you can tell her that it doesn't exist or that you found it. The air tank, quote-unquote. So I, either of those would have worked, which is true, I suppose. Take that! Take that! <laughs> the fucking music starts up again. <laughs> Larry's air tank. What are y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. I forgot this was me. Um, excuse me? God, you're just all over the fucking place, dude. Yeah, I'm having a day. Well, what are, exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand near here. A hot dog stand. <laughs> There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot, who happens to be a friend of mine, tried to fill it. <laughs> <laughs> he used this air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang? 
The tank, along with the still deflated samurai, fell into the lake. At the same time, a couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo. Wait. So you're saying that Gordy is really the Steel Samurai? Well, that's a fine way to ruin a gal's dreams. I'm sorry, Lotta. Nah, it's okay, you win. I'll give you your info like I promised. Poor Lotta. I fucking what's up though. So tell us this information you have. Promise is a promise, I guess. I overheard the cops around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. They said he's the caretaker of the boat rental place up the path there. Boat rental? There's someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. Just an old guy living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks, Lotta. We will. Let's get cracky, Nick. Still you. Oh, uh, yeah. Hold on. Something <laughs> else. Yeah, the night of the murder. My camera clicked twice, you know. Wait, so you have another f f photo? Well, I almost said another yeah, murder. <laughs> yeah, but there's nothing in it at all. Just the lake. I figured it wouldn't be much use as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be helpful at all, but here, take it. Second lake photo added to the court record. Bye now, y'all take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. You weren't supposed to be camping here in the first place pretty explicitly, though. That's fiber. <laughs> pretty, pretty explicitly. It's pretty against the rules, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Not there's saying, a, there's a big ass no nothing, camping really, sign in the back around there. The everybody's. big, big sign does, does say no camping. You just can't break in there right now, so I mean, really. You know. You know. <clears throat> Poor Lada. It's all Larry's fault. The legend still lives on, I guess. The legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry, familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> <laughs> Funny every time. <laughs> uh, what were we talking about? I don't know. Someone should whip that butts into shape. Hello, dipshit. We're not here for you. December 26th, boat rental shop. Oh, fuck. How's yawning? Uh, hey, Nick. This is the boat shop that Lada was talking about. You're right. Doesn't seem to be anyone around <laughs> at all. <laughs> it is a boat shop. Does seem to be well, a boat shop. Well, let's go check it out anyway. There's boats. There's a sign that says boat rentals. And near as I can tell, this is a boat shop. Yeah, I'm getting real boat shop vibes, you know what I'm saying? Caretaker's Shack. December 26th, Caretaker's Shack. Do you want to do your best old man voice? Yes, obviously. Um, <clears throat> trying to, I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm debating doing an old drunk man because of this way. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the good, that's probably the good choice. <clears throat> Meg, is, is that you? Eek. Hey, is that Keith with you? Where have you two been? I've been way sick. N Nick, you handle this. I think I'll leave this one up to you, Maya. <laughs> Meg! <laughs> yes? Finally made up your mind, have you? Uh, my, my mind? You know where the pasta shop would have gone. <laughs> P pasta? Glad to hear it, glad to hear it. 
Hang on, I need to figure out old man voice again and then just try to make that drunk. <clears throat> Alright, what's something an old man would say? Damn whippersnappers! You're back, back in my day! Back in my day! You make your old man proud! Yeah, there it is. I just kept going like, uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> when you kids left the house, I didn't know what to think. How am supposed to keep this place running, an old man like me? Polly, the kids are home. Hello, hello. N Nick, what's that? A parrot, the one on that perch. <laughs> Keith. Yes. Leave the wet noodle in the. I leave the wet noodle in your <laughs> capable hands, Sonny. Back in my day, <laughs> Nick, what's the wet noodle? Um, based on the available evidence, I'd say it's the name uh, of his pasta it's shop. Never... That's a relief, isn't it, Polly? Hello, hello. <laughs> hey, yep. <laughs> he fell asleep. I guess he's relieved. Uh, we can ask about well, this guy is incredibly reliable. <laughs> um, a pasta shop. Hey, yep. Just think, wet the wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. My father started, you know, so that makes you choose the third generation. Uh, y yes. The Shimara will start the secrets of dough tossing. D dough tossing? You too, Keith. Y yes. It'll be the best pasta wrangler <laughs> the West has ever seen. <laughs> pasta wrangler, the West. Is it pasta from Italy? Well, not all of it. Meg! <laughs> y yes You know the best pasta's always made west of the Rockies, don't you? Right, of course. Everybody knows that. Nick. Huh? How long do we have to keep all up this all in the family charade? This old man must know something about the murder. We're not leaving until we find out what that is. Um, this is a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? This is the palace of pasta. The wet noodle. Oh, now that you mention it, we haven't gotten many orders for pasta lately. All the kids came up and say, Yo, dude, we want to ride in one of your boats. That's <laughs> why I keep the most out there. <laughs> <laughs> the youngsters these days darned if I understand them. I'm pretty confused myself. Nick, this isn't going anywhere. But this old man is the witness tomorrow, right? We've got to find some way of getting information out of him. He's uh. not. <laughs> the witness is behind him. I know it. Let's I can just, feel let's it just in my bones. Let's just observe some of the shit in this shop, shall we? Because it's fucking... There's a lot going on here. The bird especially. Wow. What an amazing parrot that is. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> it ignored me. You forgot Meg, you gotta call her name first. Her name? Polly, how you been? Hello, hello! See? Neat, so the parrot's name is Polly. Parrot added to the court record. Too bad all she can say is hello. <laughs> Oh, well, probably you can say lots of things. I just need to know the secret words. Back in my day, <laughs> the, uh, 
This the secret words. Polly, Polly, what's your name? Polly, Squawk. I just said Squawk that time. Pp, cute. My best friend. All right. It's <coughs> uh, got a fishing pole. This fishing pole looks expensive. It's got a trash can. Well, I wow, he can. has a television in here too. I clicked on the trash can, but all right. There's nothing else interesting here. Although there does appear to be like bird shit on the newspaper back there, so that's fun. <laughs> all right, uh, let's see. It says present attorney badge. That's the lawyer's badge. Y yes, it is. I don't believe it. This old guy's the first person to recognize my badge. I get it. Huh? Yep. I got you figured out now. You're not Keith. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Nick. Now is our chance to clear things up. Um, sir. No, I'm not Keith. And I'm not Meg either. We're here investigating a murder that took place on this lake the other night. Please help us. Hmm, yeah, yeah, huh? Please, mister. Alright, I'll help. But on one condition. Oh, why has everyone always got conditions? What's that? When this case is over and done, you'll run the wet noodle. How <laughs> <laughs> to keep the hope alive? The caretaker will tell you anything if you promise to run the wet noodle. Okay, we promise. Nick, are you sure about this? Hey, anything to get this case solved. Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? I guess so. That's my boy! Good for you, Keith! Wait, didn't I just say... You too, Meg? Y yes <laughs> You begin to hear the old man's eye, you know? Now, what was what's... Uh, speak up, Polly! Hello, hello. <laughs> now he's talking to the bird again. How do we get him to talk to us? Uh, present the lake photo. Uh, lake photo. Do we have the lake photo. <laughs> yeah, you went past it. This is the second it's like one. Like three though. to the left. Yeah, it's the it's to the left of the lady's face. Oh, I'm I'm a dumbass. I was looking for. Him. I know. Have seen this. You know something about this, sir? Keith. Yes? It's okay. You can call me Dad. <laughs> D Dad, you know something about this? <laughs> yep. The other night, out on the lake. Yes? Yes? I know all about that. i seen it. What? Tell us, tell us what you saw. Well, I suppose. Since you're taking over the shop and all. <laughs> Thank you, old man. <laughs> My memory's gotten worse of late. As well as everything important, old Polly here. Everything important? Hmm, I wonder. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight! <laughs> Alright. Hey, hey, Polly, wash it, will ya? <laughs> See, Nick, all it takes is a little clever thinking. And a criminal mind. <laughs> Quick, Nick, write that number down. Uh, hey, don't get me involved in your little heist schemes. I forget the time, but it's pretty dark outside. Probably Monday night, yep. It was after midnight, but okay. 
and I heard this bang. So I looked outside, and I heard another one bang. A little while later, this boat comes back. A young man walks by my window here. He was muttering something to himself. Yep. What did he say? Yep. I forgot. I remember tomorrow by court time, I promise. Uh huh. We need to know earlier than that. You know what? Little Terry was just here. Terry? Oh yeah, that kid next door. He always used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing his tattered old coat. Got some whiskers growing out of his face. He must be talking about Detective Gumshoe. He comes up and tells me to come down to court tomorrow. Really? Somehow I don't think we're gonna get much useful information from this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh, wait. I had one more question. Huh? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Don't forget DL6! Huh? What did she just say, Nick? One more time, Polly! Don't forget DL6! What? The DL6 incident? Hey, mister! I mean, dad! <laughs> this is getting weird. Who is this old guy? The owner of the... of what noodles? What you... And also a bird. Why would a... Why would that bird Polly know about DL6? We have to figure out who told who that old man is. Oh. What? He locked the door from the other side. Who could that old man be? I think I need to do a little more research on this DL6 incident. Maybe I should just ask Detective Gumshoe. Back to criminal affairs. Hello, dipshit. Back to criminal affairs. December 26, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. Hey, pal, long time no see. You, you don't look so happy. <laughs> What's wrong this time? Actually, we wanted to ask you something. Uh, yeah. D -d 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 L6. What the fuck? Detective Gumshoe, please help us. Uh, huh? We need to know about the DL6 incident. Uh, that was when Edgeworth's father died. I can't help but think it has something to do with this current case. To tell you the truth, I don't know much about DL6 either. Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file. So I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. What? However, if you can convince me somehow that the DL6 incident is related to this case, well, I guess I'd consider opening the file up. A bird mentioned it. <laughs> A bird told me about it. You know that boat rental shop down at Gord Lake? Oh, yeah. The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness in court tomorrow, right? Uh, huh? How, how did you... That was supposed to be top secret. Do you know who that old man is, detective? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided first he was persuasive. He wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why we called Mrs. Lada Hart yesterday. As for who he is, 
We have absolutely no idea. <laughs> Who fucking knows? Hmm. Sounds suspicious. Hmm. Uh, I have something to prevent present to you. Behold, a bird. What's that? A parrot? Did we did we take his parrot? Is that what this Wait, is implying? <laughs> we have Polly with us? It's just like on us? The old man at the boat rental shop's parrot. The parrot knew about that incident. That incident? It's gotta- I hope- I hope it's just like a picture of the parrot or something, but it's fucking wild. DL6. He could've just been saying, like, a parrot as an in general? Uh, I, I guess. Wh what? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Don't forget DL6! Huh? I'm pretty sure that old man must have taught her that word. Yeah, but how would that old man know about the DL6 incident? Wait, what if? What if that old man was connected to DL6? Nick, you think he might be... I mean, at this point, it would be wild if he wasn't. I get ya. Sounds like you need information on the DL6 incident. Through there is, station, is the station's records room. I'll give you a special permission to go in and find what you need. Hey. Alright. Way to go, Detective Gumshoe. Okay, Nick. To the records room. I guess it's time we faced Edgeworth's past. To the records room. December 26, Police Department Records Room. Wow. It's amazingly dusty. Ten years of files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find that DL6 stuff quick. Fifteen years ago. Both me and Edgeworth were nine years old. We were almost through with fourth grade when he suddenly transferred. Because of DL6? Yuck. I found where the file is. Oh, thanks. Just let me know what you want to do, what you want to know about DL6 incident. I'll go get the right file. I love how that's the contrivance so that we have a person to talk to in this room instead of just talking to ourselves, I guess. The case summary. Well, first I have to get a handle on the main facts, like a summary. Right. Summary, summary. Found it. Here you go. December 28, 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. So in two days, the case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator of the district courthouse. What? Is this the same district courthouse we're holding the trial in now? Looks like it. <sighs> there was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Part of the court building collapsed and all of the lights went out. Wow, that was some earthquake. At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Jesus. Five hours! That would be scary like that, in the dark. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator and the survivors were unconscious. The survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. So Miles Edgeworth was one of the other passengers in that elevator. Do you, have data on, do you have data on the victim, Edgeworth's father? Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim. Here, found it. Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If he were still alive, he'd be 50. He had lost that day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son, Miles. Miles? Miles Edgeworth, of course. 
So he was in the elevator with his father. Yeah, we already... We've been over this. <laughs> Listen, she's not smart. From the angle of the bullet and the other evidence, it could not have been a suicide. The murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. Where have I heard that before? Huh, it sounds just like this current case. What's going on here? The Edgeworths are ghosts. You have to shoot them twice to kill them. <laughs> Got any data on the suspect in there? Hmm. That would be the guy my, that my mom got arrested. Hold on. This is it. The man arrested as a suspect in DL6 was... Yanni Yogi? He was a clerk in the court, apparently. So he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well, then he had to have done it. But he was found innocent, thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Hammond, the victim in our case. Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was so was oxygen deprived, so much so he had brain damage. He lost all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. And now he works at a boat rental dock. <laughs> yeah. It's weird. Yeah, weird. Hmm. I you're, want, not, you're not supposed to know that yet. Gun to it, wonder. <laughs> hey, I mean, who the fuck? <laughs> who the? Who else have we met who is old and has brain damage? <laughs> Uh, Wendy Oldbeck. I don't think that was... <laughs> You're right, it's, it's Wendy Oldbeck. <laughs> it was her the whole time. Yeah. They didn't really disguise that. It's very clearly that's who the guy is. He may be closer than I we mean... think. I think Phoenix figures it out, like, immediately, too. <laughs> He's like, oh. Well, I mean, yeah, like... It's a guy that we don't know. There's only three people connected to this case besides the lawyers. <laughs> I guess I generally know what I guess I know I guess I know generally what happened in DL6 now. I still don't know that sort of what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Nick. Are we going to take the whole file? There's too much. We'll never get it out. You're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? DL6 case file added to the court record. Right. And then they go to, they go over to the elevator and they stare at it. They think. Mm -hmm. That's probably all we'll be able to find here. Now all that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how Dad will do testifying in court. Poorly. It's, it's quite bad, I have to imagine. Just sort of based on his general disposition to be continued. Just because of, you know, the, the brain damage. The very clear brain damage. That he may or may not have gotten being oxygen deprived in an elevator 15 years ago. For five hours. During an earthquake. For five hours. During an earthquake. Well, post an earthquake. Alright, well, that's gonna... The earthquake sure is helping in five hours. I mean, we're not gonna get through the fucking trial in ten minutes, so I'm just gonna be a... Uh... No. <laughs> I should think not. I, lo I love the note on here. You instantly begin trial and Von Karma wants to end the trial in three minutes. Guy, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guy's such a dick. <laughs> yeah, he's just like he's fucking he's cartoonishly evil. It's I very love, funny. I, I love it. I object, and now I object, and you now will uh, sustain it. <laughs> Judge is like, oh, right, fuck, I guess I will. Jesus, is very persuasive. Oh, like fuck. Anyway, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna do it for us tonight. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for uh, Yakuza's Yakuza Zero. We're starting Chapter Two tomorrow. I'm excited because that's where Majima is. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Uh, have a good night. Bye. See ya.